of events, and they never really impressed me that much. But since joining G2, it's like they've had a resurgence in their career. So G2, starting on the CT side, so Liquid have actually opted to go T side. That's quite surprising, but again, some teams do prefer the T-side. I feel like it's such a, an even map pushing straight up. Kenny S spots a whole bunch of players but can't convert. And that's not the first frag you want Kenny to be getting. Misses all of his shots and Nitro able to take him down, but Jack straight through the smoke. Headshot onto Stewie to find the refrag. Spotting a lead out towards short as well as Liquid go for the three-man long take. They'll be given this control relatively freely. Jack's desperate to make something happen, but the USP picked up by Naf is too good. Nitro gets another onto Nexa and Hunter and Amanek. They've got to make a very long rotation in. They're starting to make their way up towards mid. But G2, they've been locked out of their A bomb site, and it's a four on two retake required. There's the run boost, just to allow Amanek to get up close, but both the remaining G2 members are pushing through together. It's one dimensional. They have a smoke, but not much else to play with. And this firing squad has been established, it has been put in position. The flag raised high. The Canadian one from Twist not going to be called upon, but a leash from the shadows will strike alongside Nitro. Just what Liquid were looking for. Kicking off Dust 2 with a bang. Kicking it off on the T side with that bang as well. Putting the pressure immediately onto G2, who of course will force into this one. Kenny not going to be opting for the scout. Instead, a deagle and a high explosive grenade to his name to try and have some impact in this one. The buy's good, of course, across the board on Liquid, and I'm starting to see why they went T-side now. I'm starting to understand the play. Stewie going to get an early tag onto Amanek, who has actually picked up the scout for G2, trying to take that contest. He takes another tag through the door down to 10 HP. And Liquid, with some early damage to work with, starts to take control of lowers. Lower tunnels has been established. What do they do with it, however? G2 still have a smoke to maybe toss in towards middle, but they don't want to use it too early. Liquid being this aggressive is actually pressuring G2 right off the bat, and this may force them into a desperation play with these HEs. The smoke has now just been tossed, so that's dwindled away on their belt. A leash tapping the head of Nex up, breaking the deadlock in the round, although a lot of players are feeling worse for wear and injured. Twists, witnesses the grenade sail past him. Chunks him down to 74. There's another HE, but there's only one remaining. And G2 systematically are being funneled into an awkward position. However, they are stacking A. All their players over on this side of the map. This could still go pear-shaped for Liquid if they push straight in here. Amanek through the smoke. Actually, is going to connect onto Nitro. Misses the second shot. Not going to be able to soften them up. You've also got a player on the right-hand side, but Hunter doesn't need Kenny. He's doing it all alone with the CZ. How in the actual hell is this happening? Nafly now has to traipse over all these corpses of his brothers to try and clutch the round out. He's been so good for Liquid lately, but he doesn't have the bomb. Only 20 seconds to play with an AHP, and he's gonna have to save. G2 have actually pulled this off. How did they make that happen? Liquid had every advantage in the world. They found the initial peak. They had the advantage of damage as well, with Amanek being tagged up by Stewie. Elige getting a few bullets into the side of Hunter, but it's still not enough. Hunter tapping away with the CZ. Amanek there to back him up with the scout, and G2... They've used their get out of jail free card very early, but I'm sure they've got a few more up their sleeves as they even managed to grab themselves an AK and Galil at the very death of that round. The perfect response to a pistol round that looked so catastrophic for the Frenchman. That's always why I'm a firm advocate of going for those stacks on Ecos or Force Buys with pistols, because there's always that chance, there's always that gamble that they're going to push onto the site where you are all hiding. Kenny also on that box is a really cool angle. Even if Hunter doesn't get those two brisk CZ headshots, I feel like Kenny would have had a huge amount of impact. Flashes through middle, using that AK to go in first. Oh, Stewie. That's a cheeky, audacious shot, but he's going to burn alive for it. 
Luckily for G2, he burns alive. Otherwise, you could have seen him causing some havoc. And they are going to look to group up Liquid off the back of it. Elige catches Nexa on the rotation. And the pressure's going to be piled onto Amanek here. The scout completely alone. And he's actually going to abandon the B-bomb site in favor of mid. Four on three as the site is taken for free. And how much damage can he get done from this window? Liquid absolutely swarm. He's trying to get anything he can, but nothing to be seen. Bomb goes down. G2 requiring a huge retake of this B-bomb site. B is such a difficult site to retake at that, especially when you're at a lack of grenades. Only an incendiary that's in the hands of Jackson. He's being funneled away and tagged down ever so low. If he gets the kill, I think they go in for the retake, but because he just was inflicted with so much pain, they have to pull back and save the gun. So Liquid, they have a force of their own that's going to come good. There's the importance of saving the AK, not necessarily like it had that much impact at the end of the day. It was more Stewie's one dig than a liege taking down the site, but G2, they tap out and Liquid regain the lead. So it's a topsy-turvy back and forth start to our best of three. And the problem with a back and forth start is that T-sided economy always comes off better. It's always the T's who end up a little bit stronger and they're gonna have a great buy coming into this one. Rifles coming out early on and it's G2 making a big call to counter the force with a force of their own. They know that if they can keep winning these rounds, they're gonna keep Team Liquid's economy down and if they can win the battle of the forces, they will set themselves up perfectly on dust two. But it's up against so much firepower for Liquid now. Three rifles, the UMP, the scout onto Stewie at least. An M4 and an AK-47 picked up by the CT side. That saved Galil on Jax as well. Gives them a little bit of bite to match their bark. But can G2 find this round? I mean, the other aspect of having such a rough opening for G2 is this stalls and delays Kenny getting an AWP. Even if they win a couple of rounds from here on out, there's not an AWP to pick up from Liquid. He has zero dollars. Amanex the most on 1600. So you're looking at another round, two, maybe even three rounds before Kenny can have an AWP in his hands, in which case you've already dwindled through quite a lot of those rounds where he can't have that much impact. Speaking of the man, a Molotov makes sure too hot to handle and Amanek gets obliterated, but Nitro goes down to his hands. Twist tries the spray. G2 now after the save and making this work, making it stick. They weren't expecting a double stack and Kenny S is going to clean them up. Gets them janitorial duties in effect. And now Elise is AK. The last beacon of hope. But well, that hope has been dashed with the M4 of Hunter. Force by beats, force by beats, force by. And Liquid, their economy is going to suffer as a result. NAF with $1,800 before the investment. And it feels like whichever team gets out of this arm wrestle of a force buy will come out and just be able to string some rounds together, string some economy, because Liquid, they're going to force again. They know that if they break it, the economy busts on the CT side. That's how back and forth these early rounds have been. But the buys, they get worse and worse as time goes on. And it's just one AK, two Galils, a CZ and a P250 for Liquid. Not the buy they would have been hoping to come up against when there's full rifles on the CT side. Flash. Going to pop through the long doors and try and give some map control as Jax with the AK-47 in hand. Looking for the spray down. He's got the angle and Nitro's not going to clean it. That's an easy first twist. At least able to trade on the Galil. And Kenny going to be forced back off of the angle as Liquid looking for pit control. But Kenny finding the shot. Next are there to support towards short. And the two remaining players out of long. The battle of the force buys may finally be G2s. The Deagle comes out though. And Twist at least able to bring it back into a three on two. Making it costly. I was surprised at the start as there is a flank coming around actually to so hold that thought. It's going to be Amanek with the M4 so fast and rapid up middle, totally catching myself and Liquid off guard. <laughs> there actually was an opportunity to get. And they played it really well as well, G2. Like they positioned where they couldn't be exploited. Next up, close with the Galil. Well, the M4, pardon me, is going to get the first kill, but it's actually Hunter that takes it away from him. A double stack back on Nitro before he gets naded and shut down. Stewie 2K and Long, Liquid mixing up the pace, showing different sides to their T side, but Kenny, oh, he nearly landed the second flick. They're gonna be very careful not to push him one by one. Twist finally gonna get his man, and it all falls to Amanek in a 1v2. First pressure situation for Kenny. He's able to get the first, but nothing more. Can Amanek bail his AWP out, making the slow rotation around Stewie, picking up the AWP. Amanek goes high with the flashbang, spots out the first, but how many players are there? He can only get the first. Twist immediately trades it out. 
where will they look to put the early contest? Three flashbangs go out over long. It's going to be a straight gunfight here. The Molotov not going to stop anybody. Hunter gets one immediately traded by Stewie, but his Molotov is there to take down the young smoke criminal. Hunter, his partner in crime, has been dealt with over on the long side. So can Amanek reasonable with his position pull this off it's two kills that go his way that should be more than good enough it's a rough fight to retake enough is doing significant damage but he himself is on the return end of quite a bit of bullets as well he's gonna be able to smoke onto the doors and try and just force this plant down but it's gonna be denied not many other options available to them now. They are going to have Shui that's pushing outside of middle once again. Hunter flashed it. Kenny S has also gone down. It comes to Amanek, who time and time again is digging them out of these ditches they're putting themselves into. But Liquid, three players strong, able to take some assault rifles away from the corpse of the CTs, now use them against the oncoming Nexa and Jax, could feasibly take this round. It includes an SG. They've got a couple of flashes to play with after this one detonates, but Nexa goes in peeking to his tight left angle. His Nitro comes out swinging, gets himself a kill before he goes down. And now Nexa has two separate angles to watch out for. And Liquid are going to get it done with pistols. They need something a little bit special here, and it's going to have to come through in this early engagement out towards a long flashes all over the place. Twist looking to dive in towards the pit. This is all on the timing and still fully blinded. Nexa taken out by Twist. They've got a player in the pit, but the Molotov's going to put Jax in even more trouble. The smoke gives away his position. Kenny desperately trying to keep his teammate alive has managed to drop the bomb, but the smoke means he's got to go searching again. Picking Twist out the sky. Jax gets one more before the trade, and Kenny through the smoke takes out Nitro. A leech finally deals with the AWPA. They do have a smoke, a flash, and a HE to use. They're all in the hands of Amanek. So if he goes down to a leash before tossing any of them out, that might be all she wrote, but they're not required. G2 still get the headshot, and they will lead going through to the second half, 8-7. Well, we said we wanted some vintage Kenny, and some vintage Kenny we were given. G2 will have the lead by the narrowest of margins, eight to seven up as they switch over to the T side. and. And why not have him with it in his hands? He's played so well. So many of those rounds they picked up on B-side were down to him and him alone. Double smokes, Elish using the little cusp of the wall to bypass the smokes, but a flashbang to burn his retinas out. And now that it's cleared, he's finding out that his teammates are dropping around him. Stewie 2K down first, intelligent from Elish. He knows his days are numbered if he stays on the site. So he falls down, lives to fight another day. That clarity of mind could come back to haunt G2, as Twist now gonna execute Hunter. They're looking to try and dissolve a road away. They're now defending G2. The rolls reverse and liquid. All the entries back onto the site all five players here and it's just a question of can they hit their shot stewie with an easy opening to take out jacks next are lucky to be alive it looked like he had the lineup but the shot just whizzes by his shoulder stewie with the second onto hunter looking for more but the flick won't quite come through naf now called into question with the spray down only able to find the first so three on two and perhaps an opportunity amanet gets aggressive but he's got to get this bomb down kenny desperately trying to play overwatch and somehow amanet gets another amanet with the clutch, the king play from the site. G2 looking for the exact same play again. The short push looking to come in. Liquid this time not going to be contesting as the early nades come over the top. They know, as you said, they've used the overwhelming majority of their utility here. Stewie looking to flash himself in. Will catch a fully blinded Jackson at least get the tag, but no frag to be found as Liquid look to push in. Hunter on the bomb site. Nexa towards short. The setups are perfect for G2, but Stewie still finding tags. Gets a Another bullet into the back of Nexa, and now they look to pounce, but Kenny and Hunter are there. Kenny with the AK finds two. Jack's on the AWP with another, and it's cleaned up beautifully by G2. Wander their way through Catwalk. Now, this is where the Deagles can be quite the adversary. This is where things could get a little bit scary as Twist opens up his account in round 25 for what could be one of the final rounds of this map unless Liquid can get it going under their way. It's all the way of G2 now. There was a slight blockade, but it's been bulldozed over by G2. And the rest of the pieces of the puzzle starting to fall into place. No reason to save this eagle for now. He's waiting for the smoke to clear now. 
He has spotted Kenny, tags him, but it's just grazing his elbow. Does finish him off. He doesn't have a kit though, and time is scarce, but these bullets are landing, and Naf wasn't far off. He nearly put that bullet through the windshield of the car and through Amanek's head. But again, fast mid-take, looking to put the pressure on. Stewie hits the first shot onto Kenny. That's the AWP down. How much more can they find off the back of that? Stewie peeks back in with the AWP. Slams Jax, takes a little bit of damage, but it's negligible. He'll be happy with that trade. Elise, normally the standout player for Liquid, or certainly up there, has been put in Nex's back pocket. Not for the first time this map. So all the early shenanigans that Liquid were able to pull off with the opening pick on Kenny has been nullified. How much can G2 run with this pop flash over the top? Will blind Naf, the Molotov though, should be good. Is there any utility there for the T's to put it out? And Naf and Twist with a frag apiece. Hunter and Nexa had to bail behind that Molotov and now they're all that remains. The frags only the first for Hunter as the trades come through and Liquid, the first test is passed. They need four more. Now, of course, we have the benefit of seeing that Naf drops Stewie the AWP and then picks up an M4 instead. So they're going back to more default. And here we go. This is the counterplay. This is what G2 are banking on. There were nades tossed into total, but somehow they did barely any damage. Stewie, though, is going to put his AWP to use. Pop flash off the side for Naf. It actually lands in the eyes of Stewie, but he still takes down the man of Jax. And he's gone in for more. He's missed that shot. It could be so crucial, but he's still alive on the window. And he's opened it up to knock down G2 where they stand. But it's now down to the duos. How are Liquid not in a better position here? I can't believe that Kenny survived that. Amanek still hasn't planted the bomb. He's gonna try and fake and funnel them into that window play. They're gonna jump straight out. Nitro comes through. The smoke working against Kenny. It's 8 HP play 64, but Kenny's gonna have no room for error. If he misses the oops, oh, that's it done. But the timing is on his side and G2 get across the finish line first. A stack around the B side. This could just be a straight up call. They do have the kit if they need to go for the retake but Jax goes peeking out too widely and he is plucked out hunter now dishes damage but not gonna finalize any frags finally gets one but instantly traded Kenny S drive by USP headshot delivered first class onto Stewie and does a fair chunk of damage to Allegi it's not gonna be able to stop the bomb from getting planted so there are options for liquid regardless of what happens from here on out but this is where that kit could start to make a move into play Naf gets peeked from Kenny and goes down without much of a fight and twist has rattled off the whole bunch of P2 50 rounds but he's running dangerously low in the magazine and on health g2 successful retake allowing this map to come through and to be played and can even have a very good grasp on how to op on this side of the map on ramp a leash though digs in move into that vacant space and try and make it work he did just look straight at stewie but nails him partially through the wall so Stewie's dropped to four. They're now going to try and push behind this, hoping, opting that oh. Kenny's alone. And Amanek, who is his bodyguard, has taken the bullet for Kenny. And now Kenny needs to do something with this. Flashbacks on point in the lead with the repeak. It's sublime. Liquid now have a very real chance of getting themselves into Vertigo. That is going to be Amanek. And Jax making moves. He's been found by Nitro, however. But... That is going to give a good call to G2. The downside is that information is going to become less and less valuable. Although Amanek being down here does allow them that sanctuary of knowing, okay, they're not going for rotation. We can stack our players and keep them here. We can keep our three players strong stack on the A side of the map. Hunter now darting up. Can't deny the bomb plant. Can he do? He's just been stalled and stopped and stymied downstairs. Hunter's death is definitely the end of this round for G2. Them to now move around and try and get around the back of them now nitro is to the left of naf that's going to catch them off guard they have two separate angles of aggression i'm next going to use his ak they can't quite get their hands on these weapons yet but kenny s is pushing around with him this is now doable hunter cz connects the headshot onto a liege the bomb is still yet to be planted as it dropped down on the ramp and they still have to get out of there they do have a smoke to give them safe passage back up the ramp side don't require it beautiful entry slick from stewie 2k but now it's jacks who's perched up 
on the backside of the site, but he's only got a USP. He's looking at the ground. He's making sure none of those pixels show themselves. And now Twist realizes. And Stewie, yet to check the angle, may well swing now. And it's going to be all about the timing here. Amanek on the AK. Twist is taking down the first. Amanek, how does he swing around to find that refrag? It won't be enough. But as you said, Vince, so expensive again for Liquid. They will have their fourth round. That's going to cause you issues next, sir. It's been a little quiet. I say that. He's nine and four, but he'll be looking to correct that as he gets a little bit of a spray on there. Amanek. Now waiting for the rest of his team. He actually decides to keep the smoke because there's one toss. In for the tease of the spray. He's going to connect on Nafli's face. That's going to drop the bomb out. Nexa can stay alive on the generators. And in the meanwhile, the rest of G2 are starting to make moves round the back. Twists. Has to watch two separate angles by himself because of these casualties. And Amanek and Kenny S are coming in clutch. Ali tries the wide peak. And Kenny's having none of it. To use their utility to push on the side. It shows respect as well from G2, though, that they know that Liquid in these clutch kind of nitty gritty claustrophobic situations are just so powerful, so prevalent. Kenny S gonna be peaking momentarily. Oh, he doesn't realize there's a player to his left hand side. The sandbox is blocking him. And the flashbangs there! Oh. Clat down ramp! He absolutely ravages down Liquid. The timing favors him. Starting to creep his way in, thinking about the peak, thinking about where. G2 may lie in wait. Nexa, though, still not molotov off, and the nade's not going to come through. He's still alive and kicking Stewie, trained in on his angle. When does this peak come in? Seven seconds left. Stewie, he's got to get the bomb down. The timing's useless. Nexa and Hunter, a frag apiece, and G2, they will draw level at five all. They'll even save the double orb set up as Kenny. Oh, that's a collat and a half. It's where Liquid need to switch it up, force out these nades early so they can try and capitalize on them in late game. And because they're so slow, Jax is going to be pushing on the back and twists with his knife out, looking to the heavens. And that's where he's going to end up come the end of this round. Hunter now tagged out significantly, still holds on with his SG, doing damage through the wooden panels. Allegi is the next one to feel it. And Liquid try as they may are just being swiped left, right, and center. They can't seemingly get anything under their way. G2 shifting into another gear, but Nitro is gonna try his best to get this under wraps, but everybody else falls down around him. Nitro one on four, AK-47, no utility and a smoke in his eyes. He's living on borrowed time and Amanek's gonna cash in. A little bit more passive, Liquid going earlier on ramp, but I don't see this one necessarily working for them, especially if they don't get rid of Hunter. He doesn't even have to peek. He just has to stay in position. As long as they have side covered, they can funnel the rest of their efforts on the A side, peering down ramp, and it's going to be three kills to his name. It's a half by. Can't get too carried away, but maybe Stewie can put this back in the realms. A possibility with a leech who comes out with two. And they hold on. 30 seconds left. A leech looking to clear all the angles. He'll find the headshot as well. Nexa goes down, and it's the stars of the show. Kenny trying to rotate in. He knows this round is crucial. They cannot be losing to these half buys, but he misses the shot. And Elige, the one man army. Ridiculous clutch from Elige. We come to expect it from the man. Hunter now going back in again, nearly spraying through the smoke onto Stewie 2K, who once again will provide some crimes. He wants this peak as well. He wants to find the refrag onto Stewie. The pressure from the other side, a huge flick from Kenny. Somehow he finds Twist and Amanek denies the bomb as well. 30 seconds left and the remaining players struggling for health on the liquid side of things. A three on two for G2. That is such a spectacular Kenny play, but Stewie looks to level the playing field. A quick headshot onto Nexa. And now it's Jackson Amanek, the AWP and the M4 to try and get back into this bomb site. There's no smoke. Jax though. That doesn't matter. Quick headshot. Stewie on the Krieg with it all to do. The one on two to find the eight, seven, half. He's looking to play the time. Jax sticking the defuse. Stewie not peeking. This is done. G2 have a ninth round. They are seven rounds shy of booking their spot in the semi-final. Stewie having a peer down in round. One of the few players right now at the pro level to use the P2000. And maybe... That is why he hasn't been able to connect any dots, but Hunter, Glock in hand, just rushes straight up the ramp. Kenny's also landed a goosh, finishes off onto Naf, and now this should be the round going under the way of G2. Kenny with another one, and Twist puts at the back of the site, tagged down to 25. He does retain a kit and a smoke to his name. He's checking all these angles. He needs to watch out for side, sandbags, everywhere else right now that he's been able to have a quick peek across. And we kind of expect 
largely looking to farm themselves as much cash as possible and just get through this round. Don't give Liquid room to breathe. Hunter with a lovely shot to open things up, taking out Stewie on the spray down. That's the scout gone. Eagle. He will be tested momentarily. It's going to be Hunter. And he comes out second best. Worse for wear. SG going to trade hands now. Kenny's going to try and deny this. Plenty of damage. Distributed, but jumps in and a leech. Takes his head off his shoulders. If they can get into the afterplant situation, there's a world where they can pull this one back. But Naf on the Krieg, looking to cause as much havoc as possible as Amanek is just diving onto the bomb site, trying to open the way for Nexa with the bomb on his back to get across, taking damage as Naf goes down to 46. And Nexa, he knows he's got to get onto the site, but Nitro with the CZ is making life so difficult. Amanek up on top of the boxes, finds one immediate trade from Naf as he switches out to the Deagle two on three. And Nexa, he's been huge for G2 so far. He needs another huge play. Sets himself up on the off angle as he allows Jax to rotate back around. But Naf on that Krieg could still be so difficult to deal with. Nexa hasn't been cleared out yet, but the spray's missed. He finally finds the first headshot traded immediately. And it's all onto Jax, the double spray down with the MAC-10 in the smoke. So if they do somehow carve out a path, it's going to be that much more detrimental and brutal. They also realize Liquid's economy is not great, so the likelihood is they've dropped down and not bothered to go with head armor. That's the case for all five players. That Mac 10 is absolutely lethal if you aim for the head. Now, for the meanwhile, is going to find out firsthand just how lethal. As a bullet goes between his eyes, a leash now coming into position, but there's a lot of angles for him to watch out for. How does he stay alive? How in the hell does he survive to tell the tale? Nexa and Jax. Both tagged, both feeling the effects, but will get the bomb planted. And in this post plant, it does reach 2v2. They're going to be trading now to two rifles. The Stewie on the flank with double headshots. He is going to get Liquid back into this game with a seventh round. They needed that Liquid. They couldn't let the bonus round go the way of G2, and they just about hold on. it. It's an incredibly mobile weapon that you can spray while being in full flight and still hit headshots. So we'll have to see if this comes good for them. If not, they can always afford to drop an up next round. Twist, though, is in such a huge world of hurt at the back of generators. He was caught by flashes. He was all alone. And G2 just mix up the pace. They just caught them completely unawares. It was such a fast play. Twist spotted out a couple of players, but he clearly wasn't expecting the full barrel in. Nitro going to be looking for some exit frags, but it's a one-for-one -one trade. And arguably at this point, Liquid would be better off with the two rifles, the two M4s as Stewie. The last bastion of Liquid CT defense trying to stay alive, nothing doing. Amanek will remove it, even grabbing himself a Krieg at the end. No pressure really been applied so far from Liquid. But Stewie he wants to go for this. He's thinking about it behind the railing as Nexa takes down Naf. Stewie immediately trades onto Hunter and it's twist to be put under pressure. Nexa with another huge frag for G2. That's two frags on the B bomb site. They know it's got to be open. Nexa just flying on in. Nobody there to protect it. Stewie manages to get around just about in time. Cuts Nexa off on the cross. And a three on three as Stewie looks to rotate in. Kenny gets caught with a nade out as Stewie, the one man army on the AWP, is holding B firm. Jax in the meanwhile, coming nose to nose with a lead. He may not know it though. The timing just about saving Jax's life. Does he actually repeak this? That's an audacious play to go for. Amanek now though does claim onto Nitro, but his position is now compromised. And Shui around the back is gonna be able to nail him, leaving 18 seconds for Jax to 1v2 clutch. Stewie, still by the way, on for the ace. Is Elise gonna take that away from him? Perhaps not, as he's missed his first couple of bullets. This could afford Jax the opportunity to plant. He's gonna be rushed in from Elise, and the bomb plant will Will be denied. But Hunter, he's vulnerable. The Molotov forces Stewie wide and Hunter will draw first blood. Jack's taking damage though and Twist able to find the frag onto Kenny, equalizing things at four apiece. And Stewie just got CS gold so hard there. There's a Molotov down, he throws a smoke onto it, thinking it's extinguished and starts burning alive. Has to go out into the open and just gets killed. That's so unlucky for Liquid. Maybe they can still stabilize though, or perhaps not. Hunter he is going to pulverize Naf come the end of the round. This frag could be crucial. Hunter needs to get the shot and he will do so. That's a leech down. That's the bomb site open. They don't have any smokes for the plant here. So they're going to have to frag it out. Nitro up towards heaven. And this is all on the timing. The Molotov goes deep. That's on the plant spot. That's going to buy a little more time. 20 seconds left on the clock. They're queuing up. Amanek with the team kill, but Twist goes down and it will be the round. It will be map and series point for G2.
but they'll be from the quarterfinals as opposed to the semis. Astralis have already booked their position. Is this the beginning of the end of the best of three? Elige is perched up. Molotov underneath him is going to force him back. G2 time and time again have taken this ramp control. Really established pressure. Really given Liquid things to think about. There's a HE. Nexa doubles up. This could be it. This could be everything now for G2. Naf and Twist trying to move in position. And Naf is the next to fall. Leaving Twist in a one on five. He hasn't lost any health early on in that encounter. And does get a second frag. But there's Jax with the AK-47. G2 booked their spot in the semis. Joined by Astralis. And Liquid going to have to play that extra game in the corners.